You guys play foot for, footnote for, for you guys play forklift? So before anything, let's get one thing straight. This is not a sponsorship. If anything, it's an anti-sponsorship. Fortnite is a garbage game. That being said, I play all the goddamn time. I don't know why. It's not like exceptionally fun or anything. I think it can be attributed to the rage that builds inside of me at the fact that 12 year olds are so much better than me at something. But Michael, you're a 12 year old. 600 upvotes in my fucking comment section. I save you the trouble. I'm also just like ridiculously bad at it. I have 12 wins out of <laughs> 1400 games and I mean I know what my issue is I just I don't give a shit because it's Fortnite. you know like I don't care when I get shot but then you get shot you die you got to go to the next game and it just repeats and I mean that's how you end up with a 1% win rate sorry less than 1% win rate oh my god this is so sad Alaska, play Despacito. So what's the solution? Uninstall Fortnite. 1500 upvotes in my fucking comment section. No, uninstalling is not the solution. Let me rephrase that. I don't want to uninstall it. It's like crack, but without any of the actual health benefits of crack. What we got to do is take the ramifications of being shot in the game to real life by say, I don't know, building a robot that shoots you with an airsoft gun, gone, gone, gone. Shoots you with an airsoft gun every time you take damage in the game. So let's build it. Uh, I apologize in advance for the rain sounds. You guys know that category four hurricane hitting Hawaii right now? Guess who thought it would be a good time to film a video? Now, Normally, I would start with the software to like detect health loss in the game, but one, that sounds super boring, and two, I want to have the gun ready to test the software out on, because that sounds, uh, less boring. So I took a cheap Chinese airsoft gun and made this. This is what's going to shoot us every time we take damage in Fortnite. But Michael, I hear you ask. Where's the trigger? Oh, there's no trigger, Michael. How are you gonna shoot it without a trigger? And where are the wires hanging off it? How are you gonna trigger it? This is the world's first Bluetooth-enabled airsoft gun. I actually don't know if it is the world's first Bluetooth-enabled airsoft gun, and this storm knocked out my internet, so um, I can't check. We're just gonna call it the world's first Bluetooth-enabled airsoft gun. Well, the only thing a trigger does on an electronic airsoft gun is flip an electronic switch, which allows power to flow from the battery to the motor inside the gearbox, which makes mm -hmm. the gun shoot. Yeah. So yeah. we can just bypass uh -huh, that sure. trigger entirely yeah, yeah, and cool. make things. Oh, for sure. Oh, cool. Thanks for confusing me even more. This guy doesn't know what he's talking about. I'll show you how it works. Here's the disassembled gun, but you've already seen this part. So let's take a look inside at the gearbox and electronics that actually shoot the BBs. Here we have, you know, the gearbox with uh, gear things. I don't know. I hate mechanical engineering. Uh, and here's the motor that would normally be attached to the trigger, but we've bypassed that to make it fire via this relay. So what the relay is gonna do is gonna touch these two wires together to complete the circuit, to give power to the motor, to spin the gears, to compress the spring, to release the spring, and to shoot the BB. Kinda like, uh... Yeah, like that. Oh, then Michael, why do you need all these electronics? It seems like you kind of got it handled with just this one. Well, the thing is, I'm not gonna sit here like a jackass and touch the two wires together every time I get shot in Fortnite. I'm just not gonna do it. The reason we need all this electronics and wires is to make it wireless. Ha, oxymorons, ha, jumbo shrimp, ha, Michael Reeves success, ha. Now the gun is completely wirelessly connected to this computer over Bluetooth, and we can just slip the loaded magazine into the gun and turn the laser on because why wouldn't it have a laser? So now I can trigger it like this. That's almost cool enough to make me forget I'm gonna get shot by this. Almost. All right, now that we know that that works, we can figure out the code to detect health loss in the game. But I'd really quick like to mention that Epic Games actually reached out to me and asked if I'd like to be sponsored by Fortnite. And I said, Absolutely fucking not. Because if I were, I wouldn't be able to say your game is shid, has small dick energy, it's doo-doo. But since I'm not, your game is shit. 
So reading the health from the game. So what we'd ideally like to do is to put a little piece of proxy software in between Epic servers and the Fortnite game running on my computer so that we could read the traffic being communicated between the two and try and find the health values inside of there. The problem is Epic put a little Nord VPN inside of their servers so all the data is encrypted, which means I can still see the traffic, but it's essentially gibberish without being able to decrypt it. So it sounds like we're pretty well fucked, but Fortnite has to decrypt that data at some point, right? Or else not even they would be able to use it. So let me show you where we can find that. So if we come into Fortnite, I can actually show you where the decrypted health data goes. It's right there. Did you catch that? Here, I'll zoom in for you. There it is. Encryption, data, servers. I use big words, so I must be a hacker. But in all seriousness, that number is what we're gonna be using to determine if we lose health in Fortnite. There are special programs you can write that look at text, be it on a screen or in an image, and it will tell you what that text says because obviously the data in an image or part of a screen is different from, say, the data from a text file. This technology is called Optical Character Recognition, or OCR, and it's the same technology that can read the name and amount off a check so that you can deposit it to your bank just by snapping a photo of it. But that useful shit's lame. We're gonna be using it to read that part of the screen to see if I'd take any damage in Fortnite to shoot me with an airsoft gun. And let's write it in Python because Python can do anything just badly. So here's my Python script running and it's capturing the part of the screen that displays my health in Fortnite. Now I'm running it through OCR, but it's not displaying any of the text that it sees into the console, which it's supposed to. It's supposed to be displaying that hundred. The reason it's having trouble reading the numbers is because the OCR library I'm using is mainly used to convert pictures of textbooks into actual text documents, which is really cool and useful, but it's just not what we're looking for. So we're gonna have to do like a little bit of image processing to like coerce it into reading the numbers. Oh, I just turned the image grayscale and it started working. God damn it, I had all these really cool like image processing techniques that I wanted to talk about. I think this is the first time I've been so mad that something works well. Aha, but I bet it doesn't work for all health values. God damn it, why does it work so well? I just wrote some code to monitor those health values and if they get any lower to send signals to that. Um, it's not pointed at me right now because uh, testing and other reasons. So let's see what happens when we take damage. <laughs> now all that's left to do is to play some games with the system engage and become a better Fortnite player. God, I hate that I added a laser to it. That is so... All right, I'm back with this because getting shot on bare skin point blank sounds super, super not fun. Oh, gotta, gotta put this up because if it hits the hood, I'm not gonna feel it and then uh, what's the point? You know what I mean? All right, I think priority is gonna be finding shields because the system doesn't detect shield loss. It only detects health loss. Oh, I really hope no one else came here. <laughs> Why do I just have 100 health? What do you mean? Please don't fucking shoot me! Please don't shoot me! Ah, oh, fuck! I can see it! No! No, 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 no! Don't shoot me anymore! <laughs> oh my fucking god. Oh my god. No, fuck! Ah, shit! I hate ah, okay, that game we learned that it's very difficult to focus on shooting when you're being shot in real life. Oh wow, okay, I am a little bit low. Oh, what the fuck? The map blocks out my health bar. The map blocks out my fucking health bar. Guess who's not using a map this game? Or any games after it? Please God, oh no. Oh, please do. No! Oh, no! Oh, fuck! Ow! Oh, God, no! Okay, no, we can still win. We can still win. What do I have? 14 health. All right. <laughs> no! <laughs> what? Oh, no! He's getting shot. Oh, no. Oh, no. That... Hmm. When it switched over to his health bar, it registered as me losing health because there was downtime where there was no health bar. You know, we're just not gonna deal with that bug. And you know what? Let's try playing on a team because that's more people to get shot that are not me. And let's do it with random people because my real friends are too busy being imaginary. It was popping, dudes. 
What's pop? How's it going, man? Oh, don't forget to thank the bus driver for your damage bonus. Ooh. You know what? Fucked up now. Fuck that bus <laughs> Yeah, yeah, dude. Yo, look, for reasons I can't tell you guys, I'm gonna need you to take all- I'm gonna need you to take all the bullets for me, alright? I'm gonna need you to get shot by every one of the bullets. Fuck, okay, okay. Yo, I need some- I need some milk. I need some milk over here, guys. You need some milk? Yeah, I need some milk over here. What matters here is that I didn't take any damage whatsoever. Not it. Oh, yo, yo, I- Look, look. I I need that mini potion. Look, I need that mini more than you know. I, I need that mini more than you'll ever know. Also, I can't open my map. Oh, I can open it, but I can't. Yeah, yeah, I guess you could say that. Oh, all right, all right. Yo, they see you, they see you. The guy on top is... Laser. Oh shit! Oh guys! Oh, that's full squad. Full squad, I think. No! Ah! Fuck! Ah! Shit! Oh, don't worry about it, dude. Is he the last guy? Oh, good shot. People, t yeah, people talk about damage. Oh fuck! Ah! Shit! I opened my fucking map. Wait, 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 you got people on No, 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 we're good, we're good, we're good. Don't worry about it. Dog, don't worry about it, don't worry about it, dog. Dog, don't worry about it. Don't even fucking fret. Look, thing is, look, look. Guys, by the nut shack, by the nut shack. Oh, fuck. Oh, his high ground now. Holy shit, I hit for three 13s in a row, let's go! Oh, fuck. I'm coming down. Six damage? What do you mean? Oh, no, 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 fuck off! Oh, fuck, you can't take damage. What? What? I am never doing that again. Thanks for watching the video, everybody. That's kind of a lot of Fortnite. If you think that was too much Fortnite, leave it in the, you know, what, what am I saying? You will never see Fortnite on this channel ever again. If you came here thinking this was a Fortnite channel, don't you, don't you dare subscribe to it. Do not subscribe. I'm never gonna show any Fortnite ever again. Huge thanks to my patrons on Patreon for making this whole video possible. You're the only consistent thing in my life. And this, you guys like this? Actually, I don't know if I can send this to anyone. Uh, if I am allowed to send this, I will send it to one of my patrons. And if I can't, I'll send you a real gun.